Who the fuck is Ava? Who is Ava? Why you be lying? Who is Ava? Why you be lying? Who is Ava? Who is Ava? Why you be lying? Who is Ava? Why you be lying? He start chucking the shit out of me. I'm like, who is Ava? Who is Ava? Blue 43. Who is Ava? He like, bitch, why you not dying? Why you not? Cause I'm strong from the football cross training. My throat is strong, nigga. Who the fuck is Ava? I'm breathing through my pussy from the synchronized swimming, motherfucker. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Tunji's Podcast. I am your host, Tunji Taylor-Lewis. Um, before I get started, um, I just want to say thank you to all of you who listen and watch this podcast um, consistently uh, over the last couple episodes that I posted. I was getting uh, like quite a few, um, you know, like insightful comments, you know, people, you know, giving their thoughts about the stuff that I was talking about, whether it's, you know, like... Um, you know, like, you know, getting past, you know, trust issues or um, what was it that I talked about on the last one? Like being being uh, like having good energy when you walk into a room, stuff like that. Just some amazing, um, you know, like insights and, and uh, conversations that I was having people in the comic sec- comment section. I just want to say thank you to all the people who uh, participated in that. Uh, thank you to all the people. Uh, we have Marilyn Sutton 05, somebody who comments on my stuff quite often. So thank you to people like you who uh, come in my comments and say, you know, Happy New Year and stuff like that. That stuff, you know, really means a lot, you know, that, you know, because, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I'm just somebody who, you know, entertains a bunch of people on social media. But it's it's cool that I have enough of a personal relationship with uh, my uh, following that people are actually, you know, sending me good wishes during the holidays and yeah that just feels awesome so thank you to all of you and thank you to those of you who are tuning into my live right now um i kind of just want to talk about so you know in the past few episodes that i've put out i've been a little bit moody you know definitely admittedly i've been a bit moody you know i was just going through some things and i just you know like received a couple you know tidbits of news that i was not happy to hear about and you know it made me moody and that's why i was talking about you know and like not being able to trust people and all this stuff and blah 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 uh you know i've been a little bit moody i've been a little bit moody um um and uh you know one of the things i love about this uh podcast and like coming up on uh, instagram live is like you know kind of just it's just like a cool opportunity to just figure life out you know what i mean like or to um verbalize what i'm thinking and feeling as i'm just figuring this thing called life out you know what i mean and um you know posting you know like a hundred plus episodes of of the podcast um on instagram and uh on podcast platforms and on facebook and on youtube blah 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 it's like it's just this really cool you know almost like journal like this verbal journal that i'll be able to always look back on like you know 25 30 years from now and look back and be like oh like this is what i was thinking and feeling when i was you know 25 years old that's you know like you know you know like i i'm excited to find out um the ways how i'm going to be exactly the same when i'm 50 years old and ways that i'm going to change and evolve when i'm 50 years old but anyways getting back on topic um you know you know so coming from that moody place till now having the holidays to just like relax and just like be around the people who i love and you know like you know then just like watching movies and being in my own head stuff like that and um previously i talked about how i feel like i can't trust anybody in the industry and now you know because of that experience because of going through that experience i've actually reached a pretty happy place in my life currently um and just a happier mindset because you know because I've been through quite a few experiences where people like betrayed my trust or, you know, people didn't live up to, you know, expectations that I, I might have had um, that weren't really like huge expectations. It was just like literally expectations of just being courteous and being, a, you know, a nice person. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, I've, I've reached like a happier place in my life because, you know, I've sort of now reached a point where I've just like let go of my expectations of of other people would be have your manisha uh underscore braden underscore aka underscore elia underscore my that is quite the instagram handle congratulations on that she says um i know what you feel like yeah man like i'm sure we've all had you know experiences where people you know didn't live up to you know what we expected them to be and stuff like that but the reason why i'm feeling happy right now is because like 
I feel like I've genuinely like let go of my expectations of people to to play their part as far as like me, you know, getting to where I need to be in my life. I've sort of let go of my need for people to, you know, hold their end of the bar hold their end of the bargain and you know, I've sort of let go of my need to collaborate with people or work with people in order to um achieve the goals and, and dreams that I have. Um, you know, and that's not to say that I'm like closed off to anybody. Like it's actually the total opposite. Like I was at a place before where because I was having a hard time trusting people and I didn't know who to trust, who to trust, I was like had a, like this huge vetting process where like the moment somebody did something that I would interpret to be a, a little bit untrustworthy, I'd immediately just like you know like move on from them and not want to build a relationship with them because like you know i just wasn't trusting but now like you know i don't feel like i don't have to be untrusting i don't feel like i have to be trusting or untrusting of anybody i can just like you know treat everybody with respect and you know the people who stay around stay around and the people who don't don't but either way i don't have any expectations for people to um treat me a certain way or to be a certain way or for me or for 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 me to have like a certain type of working relationship with them or for it to go for it to go long term or for it to be short term i've just sort of you know like just got come to this place where i'm like you know like i i don't need to have like expectations of anybody and you know as far as like achieving my goals and dreams or as far as just like going through life i know me you know i can trust myself i can trust like my you know my family the people's closest to me you know my girlfriend stuff like that like you know I, I can trust them to always like hold hold me up and like you know like be my backbone be my anchor um my best friends as well and um but as far as going through life man just like you know you know i've, I've gone through most of my life you know being a lone wolf and I kind of touched that on that in a previous podcast episode where I was just like, you know, you know, I'm tired of like being the only one in every situation. Like, you know, like growing up being the only black kid in school or, you know, in church, you know, like, you know, you know, being in youth group and being like one of you or basically the only one in my friend group who like actually like lived, uh, you know, uh, in a, 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 a Christian life and, and didn't, you know, like go off and do a bunch of like crazy stuff. Like, you know, shout out to all my buddies who did that stuff. But you, they, they all know, too, like, you know, they were just like, OK, we're about to go to this party. Tunji's not going to be interested. Let's just go. Like, that's just how things were. Um, so I was the only one in that respect, you know, um, being the only one in, in, in certain situations to be like a hard worker and being competitive and think of things in a, in a, in a big way rather than just, um, you know, just seeing how things go and letting things play out. Like I've just always been different and, you know, I've come to a place in my life where I'm just like accepting that, like, okay, I'm a lone wolf, you know what I mean? I'm different from everybody else. I'm not like everybody else. Not just, not because like I intentionally do that, but just because like that's just how things play out. And I've come to a place where instead of I'm instead of me trying to resent that and always trying to find people who are exactly like me, I'm just gonna be like, all right, cool. Let me be the for whatever reason God has ordained it at this point in my life that I be a lone wolf. Uh, if that's the case, then I must be built for it. He must have given me the ability to, you know, um, you know, go through it and, and thrive in that um, in that space. Um, you know, I found that every time I try to do something community wise or collaborative, and then I also try to do something that's just personal for me. The thing that's personal for me always is the thing that succeeds more, i.e. Lipstick King, i.e. podcast, i.e. TikTok. It's always been for whatever reason, the personal brand stuff that's shot up as opposed to the stuff that i try to do like community wise like this content creation thing has been a very interesting journey for me i've tried a bunch of different things and like always 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 it's the stuff that i do that's just me so um for whatever reason that's just the, that's just the, the 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 pattern that i'm seeing that's the pattern god has set me on um and i've just like and i've just come to a place now where i'm just like accepting it and just that's who I am. That's how, that's who God's created me to be. And, um, you know, I can uh, basically this whole soliloquy that I just went on is just basically just to say that I'm learning to be um, self-reliant. I've just accepted the fact that I got to be self-reliant. You know, I just got to I just got to trust me. 
I, I I know I can trust me. And as for anybody else, if they want to hop on and support it, that's cool. If they want to, you know, if they end up betraying me in any sort of way or, or you know, like not, you know, being trustworthy down the ro road, um, that's fine. Because I never had any expectations for them uh, to begin with. Um, and, uh, you know, that that's very freeing. That's definitely very freeing. It's just like, you know, accepting the situation that I'm in. Uh, rather than, you know, resenting the fact that, you know, I would rather it be different. So that was the first thing I wanted to talk about today. Um, 